this one I said I would <laughs> let me do it and it's really um um it's a formula looking up question and a bit of a geometry exercise so when you look at the section for mechanisms of a heat transfer and this is one of those formulas that you just have to know and by the way we won't really use it that much or even mention it after this week but it's a part of your background knowledge about physics and engineering uh, one of which is that there's this thing called the stefan boltzmann law which relates the power of emitted um, radiation to the temperature of the thing i think i'm almost there uh, radiation <laughs> uh, and there's a formula that's derived for you that relates this and sigma is what's called the stefan boltzmann constant so so this is something you have to know let me just copy it down here so that i have access to it the power emitted is um, stefan boltzmann constant times the area of the black body and uh, this E is the emissivity. Um, oh, I guess this is more general than black body. For a black body, this E is equal to one um, times, and this is the important part, temperature to the fourth power. And this really tells you how strongly dependent the power emitted through radiation is on temperature. It's, uh, I guess it's not something you would have guessed before going through all the math for driving this. So uh, with that, uh, we don't spend a lot of time on this in this class because um, when we do quantum mechanics, this uh, relates to uh, the Planck law, which is beginning of quantum mechanics. Um, but since we are not doing quantum mechanics, we'll just mention the formula and then move on. Um, OK, so I think the one thing you have to know is you have to know the area of the sphere because it's telling you that it's um, small spherical body uh, of some radius uh, five centimeters and uh, you just have to know that the surface area of a sphere is given by four pi r squared um, i don't know if i've said this yet in this class i think you will probably hear me say this in lectures um, when and if people tell you that you don't have to memorize things in math or physics ignore them uh, there are things that are really good to memorize i mean so okay so if you haven't memorized it then look you look it up there's no um, problem with looking things up but when you have things memorized it'll just uh, so uh, so streamline your problem solving steps that you will uh, you will never not wish that with uh, too many not uh, not wish that you haven't memorized and memorizing things really makes things easier for you so uh, this is one of the geometry formulas i just have memorized and will never forget <laughs> um, anyway so that's uh, the area of a sphere um yeah so let me just type things in i think i can so i think i can let Wolfram alpha also look up the stefan boltzmann constant for me stefan boltzmann constant times area of a sphere four times pi times five centimeters squared and i'm gonna let Wolfram alpha do the unit conversion which um, uh, it, again is a shortcut uh, you should know how to do it by hand if you have to and uh, temperature i'm a little bit hesitant to, to put in uh, degrees of c Wolfram alpha might know how to handle it but just in case it doesn't let me just say 293 kelvin the fourth power Besides, unit conversion from 20 degrees, the degrees of Celsius to Kelvin is really easy. So, yeah, it looks like it correctly interpreted what I put in. Um, and I'm putting one for MECBD. And it says, yeah, 13.13 what? Sounds right. 13.13. I don't know. Doesn't sound crazy. <laughs> okay, suppose this black body he is heated to a very high temperature, say about 900. Kelvin, okay, that's not very high, but uh, all right, um, it's hot enough that it could injure you if you touched it. Let's see uh, what it is now. Oh, huh, a lot higher, uh, 1169 watt. A lot higher, um, yeah. But fundamentally, this is a um, question for looking up formulas. <laughs> 
<laughs> the Stefan Boltzmann constant. And um, there are some steps that I'm bypassing because there are uh, information about this constant that you can get from just watching the unit. Uh, I'm bypassing it because I'm basically letting Mathematica or Wolfram Alpha handle units for me. So, um, but uh, I think I'll have other opportunity to emphasize the importance of units and dimensional analysis. So I'll save that for later. <laughs>